Hey guys, how are you? David DeFranco here from ddefranco.com slash ask, which is your open forum for submitting questions for future videos, such as this one. And today's question comes from Ray D1994. This is actually a pretty cool coincidence. If you look behind me, right back there is the live stream, and right back there is the live stream chat room. And Ray D1994 just happens to be in the chat room right now, so hello, Ray. I don't know if he saw me or not because I'm kind of off frame. But either way, the live broadcast is awesome, guys. Always feel free to join ddfranco.com slash live. Check it out. All right, so getting on to Ray's question. Ray says, hey, David, how are you doing? I'm doing pretty good. Well, I'm doing pretty well, let's just say. How about you? And then he goes on to say, I know this doesn't relate to your, to your usual videos, but I understand how much you work. Uh, you do making videos and doing projects. Doing these projects are sure to make you stress out. I just want to know how you deal with your stress. Hopefully this question ends up as one of your videos on YouTube. Thank you. Love the live stream, by the way. See? Look at that. Proof. The live stream. Everyone loves it. I love it. All right, so Ray, this is an excellent question. Honestly, I don't have any notes down below the camera. I don't really have any notes in my head. I'm just going to wing this and see how it goes. Okay, so Ray asks how we deal with stress. Well, first of all, I got to say a perfect example of dealing with stress is this. Do you see this? Let's just say a haircut experience of mine recently, like a few days ago, went kind of wrong. Obviously, I mean, you can see there's a little mild bald spot right there and right there. But is it really that big of a deal? No, because the hair is going to grow back. And when it eventually grows back, I can just do a number one shave, you know, again, just to even it all out. Think of it as grass growing more on this side and then a little more here. Eventually, when it evens out, you can just do a one. That's kind of a weird metaphor. My grass is right outside, so I thought of it. Anyway, the point is, it's just hair. And that kind of transitions into life. Well, it's just work. It's just whatever you're doing at the time. I mean, life could be much, much worse. For example, again, my hair. I mean, I could have easily cut through my skull and I could be in the hospital right now getting brain surgery done. But I'm not. I'm here, I'm alive, I'm in my own place, I'm enjoying my Saturday. You won't see this until Monday. So life is pretty damn good. So that's my first thing, is that just don't worry about it too much. I mean, life could be much worse. You're alive, you're watching this video, you're doing what you love, you're doing your work, you're doing your homework, maybe that's not what you love, but you get the point, you're in school, you're getting an education, you're at work, you're making money. Life really isn't that bad. My second thing I wanna talk about is the fact that Whatever you're working on at the time, it will get done. Just think of whatever you're doing as a step-by-step -step process. For instance, anytime I get a new website project or a graphic design project, I always kind of stress out in the beginning stages because let's face it, getting started on anything in life is the hardest part. Whether you're writing a novel, an essay, or even trying to word the correct email response to someone, Getting started is not always easy, but that's the thing. Once you do get started, your mind will naturally begin the flow. So get started and just go from there. The third thing I want to talk about, and yes, I cut my finger working the other day. It, get, it got wedged in between a ladder hinge. It pretty freaking hurt. Anyway, getting to point number three, I want to talk about your sleep schedule. Now, I'm not one to back this up. I mean, I went to bed at five o'clock in the morning last night because Black Ops 2 sucked me in. I was killing it with the Scorpion Evo. What a freaking awesome weapon. So yes, eventually I went to bed at 5 a.m. or a little, you know, soon, soon after 5 a.m. and I woke up today around 11, 11.30 a.m. Is that the best sleep schedule? Hell no. I'm not gonna deny it. I mean, I do have a horrible sleep schedule. I go to bed every single night at the earliest, maybe 2 a.m., and at the latest, 4 a.m. On, on an average work night. Last night was kind of the exception because, like I said, Black Ops 2 really sucked me in big time. So my point is, a good sleep schedule can result in less stress. Because let's face it, if you wake up all groggy, you're not going to feel like doing your work. You're not going to feel motivated and all that stuff. I mean, honestly, today, I didn't really feel like recording a video because I won't be here... I guess Sunday and Monday, so it's going to be a somewhat weird week in terms of my work schedule. Uh, but I didn't really feel like recording a video. But I was working on my website behind me, this new site I'll be launching in, a, uh, in about a you know, month or so. And I was like, you know what? 
I actually feel pretty good. I'm motivated, I got some work done, so I guess I will make a video. So getting back to the point, an important sleep schedule is very important. Did I sleep well last night? Yeah, I mean, according to my jawbone up, I got six and a half hours of sleep, which isn't bad. I try to get at least six hours of sleep every night. The human body, I believe, on average needs eight hours of sleep to function properly, but let's be honest, I'm not gonna get eight hours of sleep. As long as I get six hours of sleep, I feel good enough. But then again, I'm a very motivated person in general. I'm a very positive thinking person. For instance, my dislike video I just uploaded a couple days ago, people freaked out. People bitched at me left and right. Do I care at the end of the day? No, because I'm doing what I love. I'm alive, I'm enjoying life. Now why am I talking about this? Well, because honestly, it has to do with your stress. Don't worry about others. Just worry about yourself, worry about your own work, and just worry about your own day. So to recap, the three things you wanna keep in mind are number one, your life isn't really as bad as it seems. I guess that's the way I explained it. Meaning my hair, I mean, I kinda had a bad haircut. I mean, it was my fault, um, but it'll grow back. It's really not that big of a deal. Number two is that your work is just a step by step process. Don't think of the entire thing as one step. I mean, think of it as a puzzle, piece by piece by piece by piece, and eventually the puzzle will complete itself naturally. And finally, number three, try to get a good night's sleep. I know I cannot back this up with my sleep schedule, because like I said, I get six hours of sleep on average. You should get eight, but still keep in mind an important sleep uh, schedule can go a very, very long way. And then of course, there's that bonus tip that I talked about real quick, and that's the fact that just worry about yourself, guys. Don't worry about others. I mean, it's okay to be selfish here and there. Just worry about your work, concentrate on your day, and in my opinion, you'll be motivated in no time. So that is my response, right? I really hope I helped you out. Obviously, dealing with stress is relevant to everyone in their own way because we all deal with stress differently, and that's perfectly fine. But I've learned to just not think too much Take your time, and like I said before, I don't mean to repeat myself, but it's true. You're alive, life is pretty damn good, and life could be much worse, but thankfully it isn't. And now guys, of course, since today is an Ask a Question video, I will be giving away a free audiobook over at audibletrial.com slash the creative one. Click that link right below, sign up, and get this book for free. It's the four hour work week by Tim, I almost said Tim Cook, that would be pretty cool. Tim Ferriss, he's actually very good friends with Kevin Rose who just happens to be one of my idols in life. I love his entrepreneurial spirit and all the projects he does. But anyway, check this out. This book talks about a great way of managing your day and honestly, how to be less stressful. And it's great. Check it out. It's free. Link is right below and enjoy. I just realized that I say check it out a lot. I really have to improve my vocabulary. Anyway, guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video. Again, keep those questions coming. Dfrager.com slash ask. Don't fall book. I'm sitting it on my windowsill. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.